Camden Market. Imagine a place where you can buy a sofa and a jewel, eat Mexican or Thai food, get a piercing or a tattoo, and finish your day with a head massage or balancing your aura. Well, that place is Camden Market. This area has long been frequented by artists, hippies, punks, designers, musicians, a myriad of people who live a different lifestyle, and it is one of the liveliest, most amusing places in London. This area was open countryside outside London when, in 1791, Earl Camden and others began to develop the land and a few isolated buildings that existed there. They leased those old buildings and sublet them on short leases as craft workshops. Soon, a weekend market started nearby, at first selling crafts from the workshops and later expanding to sell antiques and clothing. At the same time, several food stalls joined the market, which started to attract both Londoners and tourists. In 1820, the canal was opened in order to easily transport goods from the industrial Midlands to the London docks, and it soon turned out to be one more reason for visiting the site. Boat trips and walks along the canal are still a major attraction in this area. The success of Camden Market was largely thanks to the Sunday trading that was allowed in this particular place. In 1985, the area was so popular that three other markets opened nearby. The construction of television studios and the flow of the people led to the renovation of many of the old buildings, and a new market hall was built with three floors of small shops as well as other businesses. Now, the market is open seven days a week, although the weekends are the highest point when the market is full of traders. The Camden Lock Market was the original craft market, but all the other markets in the neighborhood, specializing in fashion or in fruit and vegetables, are part of a whole area commonly known as Camden Market. The environment in Camden is magnificent, with all sorts of merchandise on display. From fireplaces to vintage clothes, theatrical costumes to simple jewelry, it is possible to find almost everything in this market. The site is one of the few places in the city where buildings can be painted without special planning permission, so you will find some shop fronts that are different, if not bizarre. Through a miscellany of colors, people, fabrics, furniture, and accessories, you can practically make a journey through the world without leaving the area. But vision is not the only sense that will lead you around. Here, you can find good, cheap food from many different cultures, and a mixture of flavors and smells, and incense is often present. Spend a day at the Camden Market. It is definitely an alternative experience.